Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to pour the seashell technique and I already mixed my resin. So the first color is a brown tone and I mixed yellow, red and blue for my brown. They are the pigment drops from Etta Art. My green is the Manila Green Resin Ink from Etta Art. Yeah, I'm showing this all a little bit off camera, I'm sorry. Then I have Chameleon Pigment Olive and this is from Let's Resin. And finally I have my white and the white I mixed also with the pigment drops. So, and what I want to do, like I said before, I want to make the seashell technique again. And this is a technique pouring just from one slot of the mold. The mold here is the mold number four from resincourses.com. And I thought, because I saw it from the dear Nicole in one of the Facebook chats, um, that she has poured this technique in a rounded, more rounded mold. So I thought I need to try this too. And yeah, the seashell technique is a technique I developed together with Sandra Rettig and we were just, you know, curious how a pour is going to turn out if you pour just from one side of the mold. So also this mold has a quite um, nice, nice entrance. So I can pour my Manila green first. I already did it and now I'm pouring my brown tone. I'm sorry for the light but um, I didn't have very good light on that day so if I would have switched the light on it would have not been good and also like this so I'm really sorry. Um, my third color is now the Let's Resin Olive. It's a wonderful chameleon pigment. I really love it. And I hope I mixed a little bit more into it to have a little bit sparkle on the surface at the end. And finally, I'm pouring my white. So you see, I'm just pouring always from one side. I just let the resin flow and yeah, just let it do its magic. Um, well, principally, it's like um, a puddle pour but only from one slot, so not from the center, but just from one side. And now I'm taking also my clear resin and I'm just filling up my mold and I'm not um, pushing my white too hard. I just do it gently because I also don't want to, um, that the resin is overfilling at the sides because of course there's the most coming out at the moment. So I'm really taking my time pouring the resin into this mold. The resin I'm using here is the Ultracast resin. It's a medium viscosity resin. So, and this is my clear done. And then I have also a mixture and I mixed many colors. I had um, the Fantasy Sandcastle from Laura's Art Corner. I had some um, white stones and I just made a mix of things I had. And yeah, just to have um, a smooth sparkle and that it also matches with my mold or with not with my mold, but with my colors I poured. So I'm preparing this a little bit aside. Like I said, I'm sorry that I'm sometimes a little bit off camera. So there I had more a green color from Laura and I thought it doesn't quite match with the green I have. So I just quickly went into my drawer and I took the Fantasy Sand Castle, which you will see in a second. But, you know, sometimes you just need to um, figure out why pouring does this match, doesn't it match? And, you know, then you change during the pour and well, this happens to me quite often. So I hope you are not bored, but you can already see also a little bit how um, the white is changing in this open space and how the resin is slowly going or moving to the center. So I'm putting the rest I had of this um, glitter into my cup. So my fantasy sun castle is completely gone. Then I have the... Um, 
Power Wash um, shells, also from Laura's Art Corner. I break them off and put them into my cup. Like I said, a few glass stones and that's basically it. Oh, and I mixed everything now and now I can give it into this open slot where I just poured and I'm just taking my popsicle stick and I'm just placing my glitter mix and I just make sure that I have it the way I want it to be and this um, gives this little open space also a little bit of a highlight. This is what I found with the other mold I poured it in. I think it, yeah, it just gives a nice sparkle at the end. And if the pour is really working, it should really that the sort of crackles um, spread out like you have it in a seashell. But we will wait and see. It's a round mold and not a rhombus like um, the other mold. So I really need to see what is the outcome. And I'm quite curious about it. But now you see also a little time lapse where you can see how the resin is really moving and what it's doing. You can see that um, it really lightens and that there's happening something underneath. So. I'm so curious to demold it, but I needed to wait almost 24 hours. I also take you down for a little close up and you can really see these nice patterns. It's also similar to um, the dragon flower that you have the spider effect. And this I didn't have before, so I'm really curious how this is gonna turn out. Anyway. Next day, it's almost 24 hours later and look at the shimmer and yeah, let's have a look. So curious and look at that. I was surprised about it because I didn't expect this outer rim and the inside looks like the top of a tree. And the colors are also like, like the tre tree top and I really love it. And the glitter could be the stem. It's, it's well, I was speechless because I didn't expect this outcome, but I really love it. Um, I'm very um, stunned myself. What resin can do, what it effects you can achieve. And maybe you see also a little bit the sparkle of the interference olive. It's really beautiful. With this, I just love and leave you. I'm wondering what you think about this pour and I say see you to my next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.